Do you need some ideas for using Altenew's brand new hot foil plates? Well, in today's stylish card making techniques video, I'm going to show you five different ways to use the exact same hot foiling plate and hopefully give you some ideas and inspiration on how you can use that brand new product range that Altenew has released. So let's get started. <music> Hey guys, it's Jenny and welcome back to another Stylish Card Making Techniques with Jenny. Today, like I said, I'm going to show you five ways to use the same hot foil plate and the one I'm featuring today was in the November release from Altenew 2021 and it's called the Sunburst Doily. It comes with this outline die that you can use to die cut out your hot foiled piece and then this is the plate itself. So I'm giving you a close up look for those of you who haven't seen hot foil plates before. They look a little bit like dies, but that surface is smooth and that's what's used to create the impression pushing that hot foil down into your cardstock. For today's first card, I'm going to be using this glossy white cardstock. Glossy and smooth cardstock and media is probably the best for foiling. I find it gives the best impression. But don't worry too much because in today's video I'm going to show you five different mediums to foil on and a little tip or trick just to make sure that you do get that good impression when you do your foiling. For my machine I'm using a Spellbinders Glimmer. You can use whichever foiling machine you have. These foil plates work with any of the hot foiling machines. I have a coordinating die cutting machine so it's important to make sure that your foiling machine works with the die cutting machine you have. So that's just a little tip in case you don't yet have a foiling machine and you're looking for which one to get. Now I've put my plate down uh, once the machine has heated up, that first green light was solid and that means that the uh, surface is ready to uh, receive the foiling plate. I'm going to lay my plate down, I'm then going to lay down the foil shiny side down, I'm using matte gold glimmer foil and then the medium and then I'm going to press that timer button and put the plates down. When it stops blinking, it means that the foiling is ready. I can pull out that platform, run it through my die cutting machine. That's going to apply pressure and this is the result. You peel back that foil and you get this gorgeous hot foiled sunburst shape. You do see that I went a little bit off the edge there. I didn't use any washi tape to adhere down my plate, but that's okay. You'll see later on what I do with this. Uh, it doesn't matter too much that I went off the side. Now I wanted to see if I could uh, foil on washi tape, so I've grabbed my Watercolor Nebula Wide Washi Tape. This is one of my favorite washi tapes. It's huge, completely covers a panel of cardstock, uh, which I have got a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of Nina Solar White cardstock here that I've completely covered with the washi tape. It's a little fiddly, but I like to trim off the corners here so I can fold it around the back. I prefer to do this with washi tape when I'm adding it to cardstock because I find you get it, you know, completely covering those edges. It means it's not going to lift up later on because, as you know, washi tape can be repositioned. I've added my Sunburst Doily foil plate back onto my machine. It's already still warm, so it's pretty quick to heat up. And then I'm going to overlay this platinum foil, which is sort of a dark gunmetal metallic color, and then my washi cardstock face down, and then add my plates heat it up, run it through my machine again, and it produces this gorgeous looking, sort of perfectly foiled, really surprised about that looking uh, doily shape. It looks awesome. Now for my third technique, I'm using patterned paper. This is the Summer Garden Paper Pack. Uh, most of the patterned paper from Altenew is really thick and smooth, so it's great for foiling on and this time I'm going to use matte silver foil and I want to make sure I get a good impression I get it exactly where I want it on those first two cards I was kind of haphazard it didn't really matter where the uh, sunburst appeared on the medium that I was using this time I do mind I want it exactly in the corner over those florals so I'm first going to add a little hinge using washi tape just to make sure I have that foil in the right place slip the foil underneath and then adhere it down with some more washi and then flip it over. So you saw exactly perfectly foiled in the right place. And this is a little tip that I've seen uh, Jana Smakula use. It's a great way to make sure that you get your foil uh, image exactly where you want it. It foiled perfectly on that pattern paper and looks gorgeous. And it creates super simple cards like you'll see in a minute. 
Now for this card, I'm using some lavender glimmer foil, and this is on Jet Black Cardstock by Alta New, and this is probably going to be my favourite card. Uh, black and purple colour combo is like one of my favourites. It's gorgeous. It foiled amazingly. The Jet Black Cardstock is, is pretty smooth, and I was really surprised, but it foiled absolutely beautifully. So we're going to finish off our cards. I'm keeping them clean and simple uh, is the name of the game for this video. I just wanted to give you some inspiration on how to use your plates, but you can go, you know, super complicated if you want. I wanted to keep it pretty clean and simple. So I'm using this Just a Number sentiment set. I've lined up one of the sentiments that fits underneath the sunburst doily impression on this pattern paper that I've trimmed down to four and a quarter by five and a half with the pattern uh, directly in the center at the top. And then this sentiment, I've stamped it with obsidian pigment ink. And it, I'm going to do just that. No embellishments, nothing. And it's very hard to photograph foil. <laughs> I will tell you, very hard. But in real life, it looks absolutely gorgeous. On all of my card panels today, I'm adding them onto uh, top folding note cards made from 110 pound Nina Solar White cardstock. And for the washi tape panel, I'm using these bold greetings. They're sort of a more masculine font. I've die cut it three times from 110 pound cardstock, and stacked them up, and then I'm going to add that hello die down onto the center of the card, just so that O overlaps the center of the sunburst doily. I thought it was kind of a masculine vibe uh, card and perfect for, you know, may maybe a, a brother's birthday or a boyfriend or anyone. I mean, it's a great washi tape. I love it as well. Now for this card, this is the first one we foiled with the matte gold on the glossy white cardstock that we'd missed off the edge. I've used the coordinating die to die cut it out. And I actually off camera foiled it again. I'm going to fussy cut out that smaller sort of flower sunburst shape from the center. I'm going to stack it up with some foam tape, kind of a little bit like decoupage, if you're familiar with that technique where you cut the shapes smaller and smaller and smaller and stack them up so you get that sort of almost 3D look. I'm only keeping it to two layers, but I thought that would be a fun technique just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension. Now for my background, I'm using this Gold Splatter Cosmic Berry Wide Washi Tape. This is cool washi tape. I think there's also a blue one and I've had it in my stash and I, I've used it a couple of times for die cutting and I thought I'd try it at a diagonal just to create a little bit of a, a fun looking background. And also because it's got some gold splatters on it, I thought that foil look would go really well with this white and gold foiled sunburst doily. So I've uh, done uh, the, the similar technique that I did with the um, watercolor nebula, which is to snip it a little bit, fold it over around the edges. I've got that nice diagonal line, and then we're gonna pop up my double layer sunburst doily with some more foam tape. So this is like super dimensional. And then just to finish it off, I'm gonna add the thank you sentiment stamped in obsidian pigment ink. And this is from Label Love, that super classic sentiment set from Ulta New that literally everyone needs to have in their stash if you don't already. Now for my favorite card, the one we used the lavender foil and the jet black cardstock with, I had to grab my metallic watercolors. Now, if you haven't used these before, you can use them with non-watercolor cardstock, which is what I'm doing here. Just don't use too much water. They show up beautifully on dark colored cardstock, and I'm just going to use a uh, water watercoloring brush from Alta New just to color in that sunburst doily. I'm only using two colors. I'm using the purple metallic and then that sort of, um, I guess it's dark brownish goldish metallic I don't know uh, I'm just gonna leave some of the black showing as well and then of course add some splatters in those same colors and you know that foil it almost acts almost like heat embossing sort of as a reservoir to keep that water coloring between the lines it resists the water and therefore it's much easier to color in I'm going to give it a little blast with my heat gun and then for my sentiment I'm using the be kind die. I'm going to die cut it twice, once from holographic cardstock and once from purple fun foam. And before I popped it out from the fun foam, I added some liquid glue and then I can just overlay the holographic cardstock over the top and that way I know I've got it in the right place. This is self-adhesive fun foam so I can just pop it out, peel off the backing and then pop it onto my cardstock. And that finishes almost all my cards, but you 
If you were very carefully counting, you'll see, hang on, she said five cards. Well, that's right. Here's my fifth. I'm going to use that hot foil plate for dry embossing. And I thought I would try it with the birch wood paper, which is, um, I think it's real wood. It looks exactly like real wood paper. And I'm going to place it down onto my die cutting machine face up. I'm going to overlay it with the birch wood, wood side down, then a tan embossing mat and then an embossing plate and run it through my machine. And it embosses beautifully. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of cracking. It's very unnoticeable. Um, but you could use a thinner embossing plate if you wanted to, maybe to avoid that. The impression wouldn't be as deep. But all you need to do with this card, because it's got this gorgeous natural look, is just add one simple stamp stamped sentiment. Uh, this is from Across the Pond in Obsidian Pigment Ink. And that finishes all five of my cards using the exact same hot foil plate, the Sunburst Doily from the latest release. We got five completely different looking cards, all really quick to do, and they all look amazing, don't you think? I hope you've enjoyed and this gave you some inspiration on hot foiling. Let us know in the comments if this has inspired you to start hot foiling or if you've been hot foiling for ages, whether it gave you some new ideas. We'd love to hear from you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Hello crafters, Jen here. For more tips, techniques, tutorials, and to discover which paper crafting products are right for you, subscribe to Altenew's YouTube channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching.